In this video, I'll show you how to enhance skin the right way in Affinity Photo. Let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the image that I'll be using in the video description. Okay, to enhance the skin in this picture, the first thing we need to do is select the skin. So I'm going to grab the Object Selection tool, and then I'll hover over our model. Right now, it's highlighting all of her, so let's hold Alt or Option to isolate just the skin. Go ahead and click to make a selection. And then we can come up here and press Refine just to refine any areas where there's hair overlapping on the forehead. Feel free to paint over this if you're seeing some issues. I think mine looks pretty good, so I'll just hit Apply. Okay, with the skin all selected, now I'm going to apply our first adjustment, the HSL adjustment. I'll just move the hue so that you can see we're only affecting the skin, which is perfect. I'll just deselect to get rid of the selection lines with Command or Control D. Then I'll reset this. And we can go ahead and start by increasing the saturation. A lot of times beginners will boost the saturation a lot to add more color into the photo. This looks bad and unrealistic, so we're going to do this better. Instead, we'll boost the saturation slightly more than what looks good. I think this is a little bit too much, but that's perfect for this technique. Now that we have that first adjustment layer done, we need to make a selection of the skin again to add another adjustment. But since we already did that, we can just use the shortcut holding Command or Control on your keyboard and then clicking on the layer mask to load the selection. Okay, the second adjustment we're going to apply is the curves adjustment. Using this adjustment, I'm going to raise the midpoint of the spline to brighten the skin. I'll deselect with Command or Control D, and then we can take a look at our layers so far. By adding this brightness, it's made that extra saturation look less intense, which is really nice. I'll hold Shift to select both of these layers so that you can see the before and after so far. The skin looks a lot more bright and vibrant right now, but it might be a little bit too orange. So we're going to do one last adjustment to fix this. First, hold Command or Control and click on one of the layer masks to load the selection again. Then let's go back to our adjustments and apply the Selective Color Adjustment. This is the best adjustment to use for fine-tuning skin tones. It can be a little confusing though. Right now, it's only showing sliders for cyan, magenta, and yellow. But actually, the slider should look something like this. Red is the opposite of cyan, so when we lower the cyan slider, it actually adds red into our photo. Green is the opposite of magenta, and blue is the opposite of yellow. So there's actually way more colors to change with these sliders than you can see in this dialog box. And one other thing to know is that all skin is made of red and yellow colors. So as we work with this adjustment, we're going to work in the red and yellow color channel up here. So let's go ahead and start by changing the colors. Since the skin looks too orange right now, I'm going to add a little bit of cyan to counteract all the redness. I'll also add a little bit of green by lowering magenta. And I'll add a little bit of blue by lowering the yellow. I'll repeat this for the yellow color channel. So I'll raise the cyan a little bit. 
I'll lower the magenta, and I'll lower the yellow. I'll deselect with Command or Control D, and now we can take a look at the difference here. Here's the before and after of the selective color adjustment. You can especially see it over here in the shadows. Originally, it was a lot more orangey, and now it looks a lot more neutral. Now I'll just select all of these layers by holding shift and clicking. And now you can see the complete before and after. This is such a beautiful technique for enhancing the skin. I hope you like it. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.